Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I'll be showing you how you can set up a static IP address on Ubuntu 12.4. So the way we do this is we need to go into the network interfaces file, which we can do by typing nano and then etc network interfaces. And then in here we can scroll down to the bottom. Here you can see it says DHCP. We need to change this to static. The next thing we need to do is tell it which address we want to give it. So we'll type in address, followed by the IP address we want to give it. This would change depending on uh, the settings for your network and what you'd like to uh, get it by. The next thing is a net mask, and usually it's 245.245.245.0. Um, if you are familiar with your own network and that's different, then obviously you'd want to put that in, but usually that is the case next thing is the gateway so the gateway is where it is sending the data to get to the internet um, usually this is your router but if you've got it as something else then you can set it as that and once you've done that you can save by going control o and enter and then control x the next thing we need to do is tell the server where to or what name service to use so this is where it needs to look up dns records so the way we do this is we uh, go to the resolve config file and uh, we can change the default settings for that. So we type in nano etc resolve conf slash resolve conf dot conf dot d slash base. And you should see that there's nothing in this file. Um, but as long as you've gone to the right place it should work so what we're going to do is we're now going to specify the name servers we want it to use um, so we type name server followed by the IP address so I'm just going to get to use Google's and you can put whatever you like in here as long as it's valid and once done that you can do control R and then control X and the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to tell it to regenerate that file so we're typing resolve hyphen u and then that should regenerate it and um, just make sure this has gone through correctly we can actually edit or view the current file and um, so if we go to nano etc resolve.conf and there we have it that's our name server file being or our name server's being entered in there automatically and uh, we can now just ping google.com just make sure it's gone through and there we have it it's uh, pinging so that means we have network activity which is great so um, so the next thing we're going to want to do is just uh, restart our network interface just so that it takes on board the new IP address we've given it so the way to do this is type in etc init.d network restart and there we are. Sorry about that last one. Um, so now if we just do if config, make sure that's worked. So as you can see, we've now got the new change of address. Um, you can ping something again, just make sure that worked if you like. There we are. Still got no echo activity, which is good. So um, I hope this video has been useful, and uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.